I'm Keenan Cyrus Gonzalez. This is a ZB band of Ojibwe. This is Rocky. We lost our land in the 1940s. That wasn't a hundred years ago. You know, they booted us off our land and told us we're building a duck wildlife refuge here. That's fucking bullshit, man. They kicked us off our land, off our burial ground. There's Dakotas buried out where I'm from. There's some other Indians buried out there. They told us. They told my grandfathers that. You know, and I come out here, my dad's Yankton Sioux, so the Great Plains is my fatherland. I'll fight and die for my fatherland without question or hesitation. That's why I'm here. You know, they're trying to put that pipeline there for what? Oil money and oil? They got oil, and they just got fucking billions of dollars at stake. Fucking, you gotta learn. You're gonna lose money one way or another. Uh, can I ask you one thing? Sure. My audience is PG. Can you keep the cuss words out? It, try very hard. <laughs> Sorry. Here. But yeah, like, we got people out here, you know, we're ready to die peacefully, you know. They, they, they're the terrorists. They're the aggressors. They meet the three criterias. Intimidation, scare tactics, force. That's a terrorist. What are we doing out here? We're peacefully protesting. And they're the aggressors. They're the ones that have mercenaries. They're the ones that had the police have a blockade so we can't have people from Bismarck come down here. And the dogs. It looked like a military encampment. Those mercenaries out there that were protecting those bulldozers, they had bull mastiffs. That's a war dog. A war dog. Why do they need a war dog? For peaceful protesters. That says a lot right there. They have helicopters flying around. Every and day, now all day. Now they're having the National Guard come here for, for quote unquote people's safety. For whose safety? The people working on the pipeline safety. That's who they're referring to. They don't, they just say the people. They don't specify who. They never specify anything. If you pay attention to the news, the newspaper, you know, what your politicians say, what CNN says, Fox News, they just give you a gist. They don't tell you the full story. I watched a I watched a Fox News video where they said there are 6,000 to 7,000 Indians here and they are trespassing on land. How can we trespass on our own land? And they, and they didn't even mention we were on tribal land. No, they didn't. Talk about the mainstream media for a minute and the stories that they're putting out. You know, like they just get bits and pieces, you know, they just, they try to turn what we do against us. You know, they're the ones reading a script. What are we doing? You're getting first-hand accounts. You're getting first-hand stories from the people out here. You see the raw emotion. You get to see the strong women out there. And they're showing us men what's good. And we're supposed to be the ones out there, especially the warrior tribes of our history, of our heritage. You know, we're out here. It's just crazy. It's crazy what they're doing. Are, are these mercenaries... Are these FBI agents, are these National Guardsmen willing to die for that pipeline? We're willing to die for people south of the Missouri River, for your drinking water. You know, I live over there on the Mississippi. I'm over here. You know, I ain't leaving till, they're, till either that pipeline's gone or they go bankrupt and they're like, we're done. That's why we're all here. You know, we got plenty of inspirational Nijis out here willing to speak and speak the good word. They speak lies, we speak more truths. And would you rather hear a reassuring lie or the absolute truth? Ask yourself that. I speak straight from my chante, my heart. You know, I would have nothing like to, to gang out here by telling lies. Would you like I have to everything to gang by telling the truth. Would you like to say anything to in the investors in the pipeline? You need to learn that you will lose money in this lifetime. When I got my 18 money, I bought some food for my friends and family. You know, when we went to go, when we get to go see some relatives in Duluth, you know, I bought my friends, you know, some McDonald's, and then I, a hundred fell out of my pocket. Did I cry over that hundred dollar bill? Did I get a bull mastiff to hunt down that person that found that hundred dollar bill, that lucky person? No. Did I cry about it? Did I complain? Did I turn to the state trooper? No. I just let it go. I just let it flow down. You know, you you hold this you hold this worthless piece of paper. It's going to disappear just like the Roman currency. Just like all those worthless pieces of coin. You hold value, we just look at that and see beauty and all you see is money and opportunity. You know, I'm noticing that there's a lot of younger people out here right now. It's because we are the ones that are going to take the torch. 
We're going to take that mantle of responsibility. They know it. That's why they took our youth to the, to the, to the boarding schools. They sterilized us. They snipped the boys. They snipped the girls. They beat us just for saying boujou. That means hello, boujou. We would say it respectively. We would get beaten. How is that right? To all you people out there leaving comments, oh, you don't know where burial sites are. Well, who's the one who destroyed our history? You all did. And you have no right to say we don't know where our burial grounds are. When we find a burial ground, that's a burial ground. Your opinion is irrelevant when you don't know the facts. Have you been out here? Have you been out here to see the good people, to feel the family atmosphere, to eat a home-cooked meal over a fire from a woman you do not know who fed you without question? We're good people out here. They call it, they say we have pipe bombs. We don't have pipe bombs out here. Whoever says that's full of shit, both literally and figuratively. You know, I don't get how these people can fight for this stupid cause. You know, like it sickens me to my core. But yeah, you know. Can you tell us a little bit about the campsite that you're at right now? The, the frontline camp? And what's been happening over here recently? Well, we've been just making sure that they don't dig up more of those, uh, graves back there but just to let you know we can't take no pictures or over there or video or anything but yeah. perfectly back here just to let you all know but yeah man we're we, we need more people we need we need more colored people out here we need more we need more white people we need more local people from Bismarck because we're out here for your drinking water if you're south of the Missouri River I'm fighting for your Where's grandkids Kansas? water we're the people of Kansas we're the people of Iowa all colors black white yellow Everyone who drinks water, please come with us, come join us. It's for everyone, it's for your children, your grandchildren. And I want to say that you guys right here, this young generation right here is fighting for their children, their grandchildren, and their great-grandchildren. I want to put that out there as well. You guys are carrying the torch. You guys are the ones that are fighting for us, the older generation as well. There's Thank a, you. There's a whole bunch of old cats out here too willing to yes. fight. Without question. Everyone, our elders, Hell, I even heard a man in a wheelchair was willing to come up here. And that's a man in a wheelchair that can't walk. He'd have a hard time getting around on all this plains and, and grass. But he's willing to come out here. I rolled my ankle, I'm still standing out here on the front line. And somebody mentioned that the National Guard has come out and asked you guys to disperse? Yeah. Okay. We've heard rumors that the National Guard and the police force are all gathering in Bismarck right now for a massive mobilization this way. I haven't, I haven't seen it with my We were made to understand two hours, but we've heard a lot of rumors, a lot of fear mongering. Mm -hmm. And again, that's terrorism. It's trying to spread fear. Three criteria. And I am afraid. I'll be honest. I'll say in front of the cameras, I'm afraid. But courage is reacting with bravery when you're most afraid. And I have brothers and sisters, I have siblings here who were not related by blood, but I love them, and I'm willing to get arrested with them, I'm willing to die with them, I'm willing to stand triumphantly laughing as we hear Dapple has failed in their efforts. Whatever happens, we're together, we're united. <laughs> so this is to the CEOs, this is to the bankers, Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs. USAA! You, know, you guys, you know, you guys can gather on your tables, you can go to your fancy resorts, Talk all you want, laugh at us as you drink Can we cocktails. get this young lady in? Would you like to say anything? Okay, I won't put you on camera. But, <laughs> just know one thing. <laughs> you should laugh now because the people are waking up. People who love Earth, who love each other, who want their children to have a future. We're waking up, so you can't stop it. You could stop us today, sure. You can, we, you can build your pipelines, but we're waking up. The more you do to damage our children's future, the more we're going to unite. And, uh, just to clarify um, what you said earlier, is that you guys do want media to be out here with you? Yes, we do. Yes, we all yes but, the, but before the media starts clipping pictures, snapping yeah. the videos, you ask, you know, you just ask, yeah. is it all right if I can record this? You just, you be specific. Yeah. Is it all right if I can take a shot of, of that side of the fence? Yeah. And then people will be like, no. But you, but you guys want media out here. We want media. We want sport. media. Yes. We want to send word out yeah. there just so you can get the true story okay. and don't base your opinion off of what someone else told you yeah. you need to come out here and experience it for yourself because remember your body everyone's body chemistry reacts differently to drugs so you will have a different impression of everyone here you might not be able to talk to all the american indians but you still got to meet us you still got to go inside a teepee 
you got to see a chief's teepee. You know, how many people get to see that in their lifetime? You know, and then you can feel the power, you can feel the good vibrations here, you know. We came out here peacefully. But, you know, they're always showing, they're the aggressors. If you look at everything they do and you ask people, you know, what have they been doing, you know, so far, and we break it down bit by bit, you see they are the aggressors. We're the ones that are fighting a good cause. You know, do you want, do you like clean drinking water? I well, do. Yeah. Obviously, you can't live without water. You can't have your beer, your liquor, your pop without water. You can't have oil without water. They say oil comes from dinosaurs. No, that's BS. Plants have more bio, uh, what's it, um, biomass than, than us. And plants back in those days, they were, they were skyscrapers themselves. So next time you think you're, you're using fossil fuel, no, that's plant fuel. Is there anything else you guys would like to say? I'd like to note that I'm, a, I'm not indigenous, and I want to make a call to anyone who's not indigenous to stand with their brothers and sisters of the Lakota people and all other tribes all around the world, and stand above all for your earth and for your children's future. And just to let all you people out there who don't know the real conflict, you know, the real story behind, you know, the American, what happened between the American people, or the Native American people and the U.S. government is, you know, just to simply put it blunt and in a nutshell, the U.S. government never liked us. They despise us. They never liked us. Everything we speak is truth. Every white person that they so-called, we assimilate, no, we open their eyes. We show them we never had debt, we never had money. The medicine man's free. And they call this country the freest country in the world. When you gotta pay money just to get an education, just to get a job, just to pay off that debt for your school loans, that's outrageous. It's crazy. My little sister, my little three-year-old sister, she was flabbergasted when I came back home from walking around my res. I had a bottle of smart water. And I sat there and playing game and she said, you bought bottled water? I was like, yeah, that's how it is nowadays. What? A little three-year-old girl was flabbergasted. That says a lot. You know, you, you, talk to the, you talk to the right strong women, the right young men, the right strong, you know, older men, you know, they'll get just as emotional as me, you know. You'll see the distress that, you know, that they're just that these terrorists are doing. They call us terrorists. We don't meet the three criteria. Yes, we make mistakes, but that's what makes us human. You know, we're more human than those U.S. government pigs. Were they in it for the money, the fame, the glory? It's outrageous. When us native people, when we work together, we weren't in it for the individual. We wanted to help each other. We didn't like to see people suffer. We never liked that. That's why we helped you when you were suffering in the 13 colonies. We seen you suffer and we helped you. And what do we get? A knife to the back! Broken treaties. Broken treaties. You break one treaty, they sign another. And another. And another. They wanted to make us all walk to Oklahoma. Let's see you walk to the cities. Let's see you walk to the cities. See how hard that is. And then picture that trying to walk from Minnesota to Oklahoma. Picture walking from New York to Oklahoma. They wanted to put us all there. All of us. All native people. And the treaty they want today is that if they take down the roadblock, we leave this camp. That's the treaty today. You think that one will be broken? They always break everything. Their words are worthless and hollow. They tell more lies than truths. And you know, that's coming from that's coming from a 19-year-old boy that grew up with his grandparents. You know, I lost my grandfather last year, you know. If he seen me and heard I was out here, he'd come out here. He'd come out here and stand firm and stand strong with his grandson. You know, a lot of my relatives would like to be out here, but, you know, they have to hold down the fort at home. They got kids they got to watch. You know, a lot of us would like to be out here in spirit. But your prayers are making, are making it here. Your donations are getting here. But there's still people stealing from us, the people. They ain't stealing from our leaders. No, you're stealing from little kids, women. That's a meal that we missed. You're stealing supplies, you're stealing blankets. And, and you think you're the good guy. Oh, you think this is glory. No, this is not glory. 
You're just showing more oppression to people that have suffered. We never got our justice, like the Jews in World War II. They got the Holy Land. What did we get? We just got more beatings. They kept kicking a dead horse. When we lay down our weapons, we lay down our weapons. But when you keep breaking treaties, when you keep making BS moves and trying to poison our water, everyone's water, that's when we, that's when we will pick up our weapons because we fight for good causes. I'm fighting, like I said before, I'm fighting for your grandkids. Over in the Twin Cities, industrial, industrial um, buildings are just pouring their, pouring their waste inside the Mississippi River. Where's everyone south of the Mississippi? Where's all you, where's all you southern folk out there? I'm fighting for your water too. And to all you people in the Twin Cities of Minnesota, fight for that water. We wouldn't be here without water. That's a fact. And, and there's going to be a war over fresh water. That is a fact. You know, the, the U.S. and Canada, we're sitting on the largest lake, largest area. The Russians, they got the largest depth. You know, and we're selling this water like a commodity just to make worthless paper. You're crazy. You're outrageous if you think that's a good life. A house of cards? No. No. I want to say to all. I am Gijate Nindishnakaz, Vidaban Nindishnakaz. Vidaban means the coming of the dawn, and Gijate means when the sun is shining brightly in the sky. You can't go a day without seeing me. Hey. hey. <laughs> but, uh, I want to thank you, all you young people, for being here and being strong. And I'd like to thank all you who watched the video from beginning to end. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. This is Rocky Hall, uh, 1806, North Dakota, at the second protection site. Thank you.